Today we're going to be doing a quick overview and review of the Hatsan BT65 SB Elite as well as some of its accessories and features. So stay tuned and we'll take a closer look. Okay, so here we are taking a closer look at the Hatsan BT65 SB Elite. I've had quite a few months to take a look at it and get some use and find out what I like and what I don't like about the rifle. And overall it has changed my views on air guns completely uh, it's definitely a high quality piece of equipment and um, I definitely recommend it but starting at the rear you see the stock butt stock is fully adjustable you have your rear recoil pad which is adjustable for vertical movement as well as your cheek piece which is vertical as well um, I did run out of elevation on that guy when I was trying to mount the scope as you can see it's a bit of a high scope mount there but we'll get into that in a little bit so I kind of ran out of movement when adjusting but right where it's set now is uh, it's good for me it would be nice to see a little bit more range there but I'm not complaining overall so as far as that scope mount situation goes you see that you have a fixed fiber optic rear sight which does mean when you're trying to mount a scope you have to take that into consideration and try and clear that which made us run into some issues and I had to modify the front ring there as you can see because not only do you have to clear that rear sight you have to make sure you're not impeding the movement of that magazine at all as well as um, just you don't have a lot of range forward and back because there are only a, a select amount of uh, cross slots in the mount so we had to do some machining on those rings and make sure they worked but right now it's good and set up and I haven't had any issues with it after that uh, moving on down you have an OP bipod this isn't the highest quality bipod but um, it does the job as far as holding the rifle up it's not very useful as far as swiveling and all that but it does hold the rifle in place and on down here we have a suppressor I'll have to annotate the uh, information on this guy as I don't remember off the top of my head where it came from but after using it for a number of months now I have to say there's no other way to do it because this rifle is pretty loud uh, even though it's PCP it's air powered you'd think it wouldn't be that loud but it definitely does crack once you shoot it the pellets are going supersonic and they let you know when they're going through the air so I would definitely recommend the suppressor if you can and it uh, totally changed the way I shoot with it so very good I would recommend that to everybody Overall, the package as it sits now is very usable. The thumbhole stock and the ergonomic modeling of everything makes it very comfortable to shoot and very nice overall. Haven't had to use the mounts up there on the fore end, but it's good that they're there just in case you want to put a laser light on there for something. Overall, I really like it. If I had to do one complaint overall, it would be the automatic safety on the other side of the gun you see that if you when you cock it every single time you cock it it automatically engages the safety and you just have to remember to click that off before you're ready to fire which normally I guess wouldn't be an issue but it is kind of an annoyance overall uh, cocking itself is fairly difficult but once you get used to it you just realize you gotta crank the bolt to the rear and make sure that you're fully cocked otherwise you won't have any pellets going down range but like I said overall it's a great package and uh, even though it is fairly expensive for an air rifle it is definitely worth it and the quality is there um, definitely made me reconsider my thoughts on PCP air rifles or air rifles in general so we'll try to get some close-up uh, views of the scope and everything else here 
and uh, overall I think it's a great package. Okay, bear with me. This shot itself took a long time to set up and it's still not perfect, but I just can't get close enough with this big camera and lens. Uh, it should give you a good idea though. This is a BSA 4 14 by 44 scope first focal plane, which I really wasn't expecting. I thought maybe they were just fluffing up their specifications and uh, features on the on the list when I looked at it on Midway, but indeed it is a fully functional first focal plane scope. And uh, overall it seems to be good quality, comes in under $300, and that's the first time I've seen a first focal plane scope for that price. Reticle itself I really like, um, just the design overall, and the uh, markings seem to be very useful. It's a mill mill scope, so the reticle does match the turrets. Um, for this price range they got a lot right. And I can't say that I have any complaints overall. The uh, turrets themselves, clicks seem to be audible and tactile. You can feel them really well. It does seem a little bit cheaper than the uh, $950 scope that I'm using, but obviously that's a price difference. Uh, parallax and everything else seems to adjust fine, and I haven't had any issues. So I would definitely recommend the scope as well. obviously is first focal plane but it's hard to see through the camera so there you have it if you're looking for a air rifle PCP powered I would definitely recommend the Hatsan BT-65 and its variants uh, with the way I've got it set up now it's been nothing but good to me and I would definitely continue using it in the future and recommend it to others check it out